up you guys good morning um i think i'm gonna try vlogging again i've got a new camera so hopefully you can see the new quality of it i got a g7x mark three so i'm hoping I'll be like on top of my game with this one um i think you're gonna see a lot of me in my car this morning honestly because i'm going to go babysit my friend's two kids this morning and I'm not gonna put them on camera because they're not mine and then I think I'm gonna go to Walmart um, pick up like a few groceries and stuff like that maybe go look in the makeup aisle I don't know I don't really wander anywhere right now I used to love going to wander Walmart but I'm not really doing that right now for obvious reasons. So right now I think I'm going to order my Starbucks ahead of time so that it'll be ready when I go pick it up. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. I got my Starbucks. They were apparently out of the like strawless lids. kind of sad about that not even gonna lie because um, I prefer them not even just because straws but I prefer the uh, strawless lids like the nitro brew type tops because I got myself some breakfast I just got a sausage and egg and cheddar sandwich I still have like 20 minutes until I need to be where I need to be and she's only like five minutes up the road so So I'm able to just like sit here and enjoy it. Um, so it's been almost exactly a year since I last posted on here. My last video was Canada Day last year. And Canada Day, when I'm filming this, Canada Day is on Wednesday. Today's Monday, so Canada Day is two days away. Um, so been a year um it's it's been a really tough year I don't want to go into detail I don't really want to talk too much about it um health is fine with everybody it was just some other stuff that was going on that took the focus away from vlogging um but with quarantine happening I have been binge watching my favorite family vlogger ever and that's Jess Fam, uh, Jessica Scooby. I'm obsessed with her. Um, I've been obsessed with her for literally years since she first found out she was pregnant with the twins. So it kind of got me back into the mood to vlog again. And I think the thing that discourages me from vlogging the most is I don't live an exciting life. I'm by myself. I don't have any kids. I don't live with Ryan. So I just feel like my vlogs are boring. So for the first little while, I'm probably going to go back to just vlogging when things are interesting or I'm doing things. Um, Today I'm like making it a thing to vlog because I'm leaving my house. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, have a little bit of my coffee, um, listen to some music, and then I'm gonna head over to my friend's house. Two hours later. Okay, see, lots of car filming today. But, I am now at ah, steering wheel is hot. It is hot today. But um, I am now done watching the kiddos. It was only a couple of hours. It's now like quarter to 11. So 10 to 11. So I think I'm gonna head over to Walmart. And I think I might go into the makeup section. I want 
gonna pick up some bronzer because I don't have any bronzer. There's this trick I've been seeing on TikTok where you take um, self tanner and a, like a stippling makeup brush and you can put on fake freckles. So I kind of want to try that and see how it goes. We're in quarantine, so it's not like I'm seeing anybody. So I might as well give something new a try, I guess, and see how it goes. Hopefully there's not a line because I hate standing in a line at Walmart right now. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Dude, don't creep up on my ass. I don't know if I'm gonna bring you guys in with me though. Because I don't know how I feel like feel about vlogging in public yet. More so vlogging in public by myself. <laughs> Maybe I will I'll bring my person with me with the camera in my purse. So yeah. I'm here now. So let's go into Walmart. <sighs> I was gonna vlog in there, but it was busier than I expected it to be. And I try, because of my asthma, I try to avoid talking in these things as much as I can. Um, but an old man took my cart and put it away. And I feel bad because that means he touched it without it being cleaned first. But he was so sweet. He called me young lady. Aww. Oh my God, he was adorable. I didn't know where to look for fake tanner. So I didn't get that, but I got some more eyelashes because I'm starting to run low on them. And I got bronzer that I'm gonna try that didn't look like it was too orange or anything. So we'll see how that goes. I also got a pack of Hidden Valley, the Hidden Valley, I think they're called Hidden Valley, granola bars to keep in the car. Because I saw this trick somebody had where they kept snacks in the car, which I thought was a brilliant idea. I'm on my way home now. I have nothing else I need to do today. It's only 11.30. I've only been out of the house for three hours, but it feels like I've been out of the house all freaking day because I haven't left my house in like two weeks. But yeah, so COVID update in my circumstances. I'm in Ontario. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I'm in Ontario. And my area of Ontario is the worst for it because I'm in the GTA area. So my area of Ontario this week is the first week of phase two. Or is it the second week of phase two? I can't remember. Whereas the rest of Ontario has, got, has been in phase two for like three or so weeks. My depression has not, both my depression and anxiety have not been handling the quarantine well at all. I even have to be super careful because of my asthma. I have pretty progressive asthma. Um, so I have to be really careful. But in all honesty, I'm like 90% sure that I actually had COVID back in November. Um, I believe that it was here before they announced that it was here. I believe that they were they being the government, were keeping it from everybody because they thought they had it un under control. But I was super exhausted on Halloween. And then on the first one I woke up, it was hell. Um, I couldn't breathe at all. I was super lethargic, super tired. Um, had zero energy. I had a fever of like 102. Um, 
what else? My body hurt so bad. And that went on, That the first was on a Friday. So I didn't go to work at all on the first. And then over the weekend, it didn't get better, it got worse. Come morning on the Monday, I still didn't go to work. And I went to the walk-in and they said, they ran a bunch of tests on me, they checked my vitals and blood pressure, all of that, um, tested me for the flu and that came back negative. And they basically told me at the time that there was a really fast acting um, virus that was starting to make its rounds, but it was going at that point, they didn't know what it was. It was undiagnosable um, and they didn't know how to treat it. So they just told me to try and rest as much as I could and keep up with my Ventolin for my asthma to at least help me with my breathing but that they had no idea what it was and I wasn't the first to come in in like the span of that bleeding week with the exact same symptoms. I believe that I had COVID-19 back in November before it evolved, really evolved into the monster that it is today. lunch so now I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a bit I think I'm gonna dye my hair and my eyebrows later that's Jinx's opinion on the matter but I think I'm gonna dye my hair later because it definitely needs it it's looking actually it's not looking too brown still looking pretty black besides like at the top here where my blonde's peeking through anyway it doesn't look too bad um so maybe I'll do that a little later like more in the afternoon because it's just 12 o'clock now so I think I'm gonna eat my lunch watch a little bit of Just Fam I'm sorry I watched some YouTube videos and then I went and laid in my bed and that was the biggest possible mistake because I never picked the camera back up. And yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are just as excited about me being back as I am. We're filming the intro tomorrow and I am so excited because we have so many ideas circling around. I already have the music picked out that I want to use and I'm just so excited. Mm -hmm.